Hello dear parents, topic for today is growth charts. I think most of us are really concerned about the growth and development of a child. Well, growth actually means the changes in him which occur physically while development is the one which is concerned towards the mental parts. So through this uh, series, I would like to explain how you will understand whether the child is growing well or if he is faltering and if so, when I should be worried. In this part, I will briefly explain you how the growth of the child normally occurs. It is imperative that you record the birth weight of the child and you see that in the first part of the uh, child, uh, first week of the child, the child loses some amount of weight. So, 10% of weight loss is acceptable. Beyond that, in the first year, the child gains weight rapidly. So much so that in the first three months, he might even gain one kg of weight. In the following months, every two months, he gains a kg of weight. But as the child grows beyond the age of one year, he only gains about two to three year kgs per year. So, this is a very essential knowledge if we understand the right growth of the child and we know if it is going in the right direction we are very happy and will be very much confident regarding his growth and his development so this is an explanative growth chart where you can see the available growth charts are from who the cdc or IIT which is available in India. In this growth chart, what you can see, there are various parameters. You can basically understand it by identifying each of them separately. This is the x-axis where you can note the weight which is available in kgs or the height which is available in centimeters. On the y-axis, you can see there is age of the child which is either in months or in years. The demographic patterns are mentioned here with name, parents height, mother's, father's height, etc. These are called as curves. In these curves, the height of and weight can be plotted based on various percentiles. That is the 50th percentile, 75, 90, 97, similarly 25, 10 and 3. This basically depicts where your child falls. Now, let's take example number 1. So, this is our kid by name Shrikan, who is a one year old child. His height is 75 centimeters and his weight is 10 kgs. Now, if we plot his weight, this is 12 months, which is, which is one year, and this is 10 kgs. So, if when they meet here, so you can draw a perpendicular in this way. So, what you can see is at 10 kgs for one year, he is well normal. Similarly, his height is 75 centimeters. For one year, again, he is on the 50th centile, which is again normal. So, this is a normal child. So, now we are going to talk about a very important concept called growth velocity. Now, look at this child. He is a 3 month old with a weight of 3 kgs. So, if we see here, if this we consider this to be normal, he is grossly underweight. Now, when we see his earlier records, at 2 months, he was 2 kgs, at 1 month, he was 1 kg. Now, if we plot this curve, what you can see is, he is growing appropriately. So, with this, I would like to explain that it's not just the weight at one time, but the various plots which give the velocity of the curve which is very important. Now, a very important third example. Please focus. What you can see is Shravya, who is a four-year-old girl at 48 months. Her weight is 12 kgs. So when we plot this, we find that she is below the last line, which means her weight is less. Now, we also plotted her height, which is 102 centimeters, which is well within the normal limits. If somebody falls at the 50th centile, he is very much okay. 
if he is above the 90th centile he is high and if he is below he is low so these are the upper and lower margins what we can see is shravya's height is fine yet her weight is significantly less which means that something has gone wrong acutely what happens is if somebody's height is remains okay yet their weight comes down then something has been abnormal in the last few days whereas 8 year old kid joseph here his height is also low and his weight also is low which means that something is wrong with joseph for a long time so with these two examples what we understood was if only weight is affected since something is wrong for a short duration while if height also is affected then something is wrong for a long duration another very important case what we see in a regular opidase is one of the child by name yusuf whose height is quite okay yet his weight is way beyond the last line which means that this fellow is overweight such kids bmi has to be taken based on that we can classify them as obese this chart is also called as the road to health chart this is because this is the way in which your child grows and you are seeing whether his growth is in the right road or no i would like to tell a very uh, brief thing that is lot of kids are afraid of darkness even adults are afraid of darkness this is because they don't know what is there in the dark similarly most of the parents are afraid about the growth of the children so this is something like a torch or brightness in the dark of not knowing about the growth of your child please try to understand the growth chart please try to learn from what i have told because this will empower you to understand the growth of your child and make you far more confident about his growth i hope this was informative and if there are any queries about this please mention in the comment section thank you